Hey, this is Anthony with Revzilla TV, where you can watch, decide, and ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Shark Speed R helmet available at Revzilla.com. Now, the Speed R, in our opinion, is probably, in my opinion personally, my favorite helmet in the new Shark lineup. It's going to be some of the best features that we see on the Race R Pro, which are the high end MotoGP level race helmet. And then it's really a sportier version, though, and you're getting the similar price point of the little bit more streamlined Vision R, which is more of a universal helmet that doesn't have some of the aggressive feel. So if we look at it right out of the gates, you're looking at fiberglass composite shell, intermediate oval head shape, but again, you're getting a much more aggressive helmet that's suited, in my opinion, for really the um, three-quarter or the tuck position. We'll really perform at all different types of position on the bike, but again, it's just a much more aggressive type of a helmet. So intermediate oval, fiberglass composite, biaxial weave they're using in here for strength and stability. It's the way that they're actually blending the fibers of the different materials within the shell shape. And again, with the different venting configuration, you're getting a bit more of an aerodynamic helmet. So if we look at it, let's start with the venting. So here on the top, you're going to have two big intakes along the front, open and close with a finger detent that's actually shaped like a shark fin. you got to love shark, but it's going to be easy to operate with a glove on here up top. And then you're also going to have your chin vent, which is going to vent to the shield as well. It's an anti-fog, anti-scratch shield, but one of the really cool things is this is the same shield that Deep Pounier is wearing in MotoGP. And the reason why that's special is Shark does something that they've been known for. They make these bulletproof face shields that are a heavy, de heavy density. So here in the middle, it's the thickest and it's a variable density, 4.2 millimeters on this optically correct class A shield, which what that means is when you have an optically correct shield, you have no distortion. So over longer periods of time, especially in the track situation, you get no eye fatigue. When something is not optically correct, sometimes you have distortion around the edges on a curved surface. It's going to bend the light. And again, it's just something that you may notice that might create an extra point of fatigue in the long run. No such no such feature here on the Shark uh, Speed R helmet. As you move towards the sides though too, you're gonna move down into a thinner, it's a weight saving feature, it's a functionality feature, but you get you go from 4.2 in the middle all the way down to about 2.8 or close to three along the edges. Again, just for weight savings and the way that they've designed the shield to get the optical correctness. So again, it's a nice engineered piece of machinery. And then you also have that extra heavy duty thickness it's going to give you the best chance of protection in a crash situation, unfortunately. And I'm going to get to it in a second, but it also has a nice and easy quick change mechanism if you come in here tightly here along the left side on the temples, and we'll show that in a second. Also notice that we have a nice solid seal. Now while there is a locking mechanism, you can see the button here as we pop that guy down, there's no detents on this shield. So it's a little bit different. You know, if we notice on the Vision R, if that's something that's really, really important to you to have the multiple different heights to be able to lock it in place, the Vision R is probably the better bet. But here on the Speed R, just like the Race R Pro, no detents on the side. It's just a smooth mechanism. Notice the remo removable breath guard as well. One of the other things I want to show is that on the inside here, if we come in really tightly, you're going to see that there is an area where my finger is right along the temple and it's part of the cheek pad. It's actually the ability to tune the cheek pad if you wear eyeglasses. So if you're bringing in your eyeglasses, you'd remove these two micro pads and what that's going to do is give you a little bit more room along the temple, which is a nice touch. Also, while I have the visor open, one of the cool things, and we weighed the helmet out, we weighed the Speed R at three pounds seven ounces roughly, which again is, is a nice lightweight helmet. And it's also a very lightweight helmet if you consider that there's an internal anti-scratch, anti anti-fog sun visor. And the cool part is a lot of times you see the sun visor mechanism here along the left side. What Shark has done is they put it in an area that I've never seen it before, but it's actually a pretty cool little feature here. It's on this anodized piece of, of metal up top, and there's my slider. My slider's right on top. It's nice and hefty, it's not gonna break off, but it's easy to find with a glove. So instead of having your vent openings or your operators here on the left here, what they've done is they've incorporated the, si the sun visor system. As we move to the Venturis, and again, the Venturis are always really important because that's gonna allow you to extract that air, that hot air that's running through the channels in the helmet. And I'm gonna show you the shark fin system, which is another feature of ventilation and safety inside. But the way that the EPS liners are done here on the shark line of helmets, are, again, it's an R&D feature, unique to shark, and it gets great ventilation. But what I have here is a feature that we've seen a few manufacturers do for some time. And again, it's nice to see shark do it. So you're gonna have your extractors, or your basically your larger ports that are gonna be covered by by these wings on the back here. And what you have by creating kind of an over under spoiler, and you can see it as I pull it up like that, you're gonna see that there's day, you're gonna see daylight right up underneath there. You have air that comes in 
underneath the vent and over top of the vent. And what it does is it creates a dual channel venturi. So you actually get an additional form of turbulence, an additional acceleration of the vacuum that's gonna pull that air out. And remember, high speed air moving over a sphere always creates an area of low pressure and a vacuum effect and you're gonna pull that that warm moist air through the helmet away from your head wick that sweat away and that humid air pull it out and keep you cool the other nice feature here on the speed r and again this is i didn't mention it this is the sour graphic this is one of the more expensive graphics for this helmet that starts just over 300 dollars. but you also have the stabilizer here you have this spoiler that's going to aid in aerodynamic stability it's going to work to minimize buffeting and you have that built right into the neck roll here it's actually built into the shell of this this fiberglass composite helmet and it sits down here along the back so again really complete helmet that is optimized can be worn in any position but is really optimized for the more aggressive positions now we've talked about the shield or the shell and the shield and a lot of the different features. Before I turn this guy on its side and pull its guts out, let's pop off, I wanna show you the quick change mechanism. So I'm gonna turn it to its side, and I'm gonna show you here that we have these little fins. It's a two-point mechanism. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open that up to that, I'm gonna do it on both sides. And if I move the shield, as soon as I pull the shield up, they both pop out. And once I do that, it's that simple. You can see that we have our mechanism that slides on the main caster, and then you're also going to have this spring-loaded piece which actually holds it in place. And you don't have to worry about lining it up because the way that it's lined up, it actually has a um, indentation that it falls right into. So to put it back on, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna simply slide it in until it clicks. And then I am going to push down slightly, and it works best when it's slightly open, but you push down and those pieces go in and they lock it in place and it's really that simple. So again, not rocket science. Shark continues to improve their designs. They're continuing to get better. Now if I pull my donut up here, let's pull the guts out. We've already talked about the optimization for the eyeglasses. You can see, really comfy liner. It's gonna be microfiber. Here I have my neck roll that is connected to my cheek pad system. So here's my full left side cheek pad and neck roll. Again, here's the part that's going to have that extra little pad for the eye, or for, for eyeglasses. You can see these helmets are going to have cutouts for the Bluetooth communicator, three points of connectivity, and again, you get that full neck roll. And notice the area that's gonna be toughest on your face when you're putting it on and taking it off is gonna be microfiber lined as well. These are easy, pull them out, antimicrobial, run them after, underwater, and you have the ability to air dry them and you're good to go. Go into the other side here, pull my three snaps, one, two, three, and some Velcro. Again, double D ring connection here. It is adjustable, it's micro, micro lined. I will say that the fleece and the guts on this helmet are a little bit nicer than the Vision R, which I do like. And then as I go for the front, I'm gonna have snaps along the brow. And I like snaps along the brow because what they do is they don't give you a pressure point anywhere near your forehead, which depending on your head shape, for some folks is an issue. Here are my snaps along the brow. Heavy duty, I'm gonna pull these guys right out. I'm gonna be gentle but firm. So now that I've pulled the comfort liner out, you're going to see 3D liner, it's what you'd expect. It's connected to the neck roll. Now this is a feature that I love, and while it was a little tougher to get out, you're gonna notice the neck roll is what holds the EPS, or I'm sorry, the comfort liner in place. And it's gonna connect to the brow, so no pressure points, nice big areas of ventilation, nice 3D liner, and like I said, this is a nicer liner. This liner is similar to the Race R Pro. It's gonna be a nice step up from the Vision R. And again, you have that micro suede in the areas that are gonna be a little bit closer for comfort as you slide the helmet on and off. Now when I pull it to the side, I'm gonna show you the guts here. Shark fin system, you can see all of the different channels that have four different vents, four different venturis, big intakes along the front, and you have that big area of channeling on the inside that act as crumple zones. They also act as facilitators for airflow through the helmet. And you'll also notice down here at the bottom, I have my, part, my port for my Shark Tooth Bluetooth communicator. So if you wanna use the OEM communicator from Shark, which is called the Shark Tooth, you can absolutely do that. So remember, intermediate oval head shape designed for sport riding, but can be worn in any scenario. Full featured fiberglass, biaxial weave, it's gonna be safe, optically correct, class A shield, really a nice step forward from Shark. 
From here, you'd go up to the Race R Pro, which again, MotoGP spec helmet. And I won't say a step down, I will not say, I'll say a lateral step to more of a universal riding style or a less aggressive feel would be something like the Vision R. But you do get some of those stolen race features here in the Speed R from that Race R Pro. Now leave us your feedback. If you're currently wearing the new Shark lineup, if you're seeing it for the first time, leave us your feedback on our product detail page, on our Facebook page, or on RevZilla TV, our YouTube channel. Join the discussion. We want to hear your questions as well as your comments. As always, if you need any help, shoot us a line. See us at RevZilla.com or 877 792-9455. Our gear geeks of here, we wear everything. We're happy to talk you through it. And anything over 39 bucks, ships for free, exchange for free, no restock if you need to send it back to us. And you can always earn Team Zilla Cash on any order over 100 bucks to be applied to your next order, save you some money in the long run. Thank you for watching our detailed breakdown of the Shark Speed R. Helmet available at RevZilla.com shark. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.